The Southland's Tall Sound Music Festival will host some of Lexington's musicians and uh, present more than 20 diverse performances. It's going to be up. a lot of fun. Here to tell us all about it, Seth Murphy, Chris Smith, and Gareth Evans. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks for having yeah, us. Thank you. Yeah, I, yeah. I love the name, but what does it mean? What's behind it? Uh, so Tall Sound, actually, if you look at the letters, mix them all up, uh -huh. is Southland. Rearrange. It's oh. an anagram for uh, Southland. That's that's Tall Sound. Well, that's going to be fun. T tell us uh, about the event coming up this week. Uh, it's this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, family friendly music festival uh, from noon until 10 on Saturday and noon until 8 on Sunday. We're going to have over 20 diverse Lexington homegrown bands uh, playing the event. Something for everybody, something for the kids, the whole family. Um, very affordable, accessible event on Southland Drive. Why Southland Drive? Southland Drive is kind of known as Lexington's Music Row. Uh, not only do, is it home to a, a large majority of the music shops, but uh, a majority of the musicians live in the area. Uh, reaching all the way back to its history, you've got venues that have uh, sprung up around there, and, and a lot of musicians call it home. And so it was kind of silly to us that uh, it didn't have its own uh, festival post, uh, say, Southland Jamboree. Yeah. Moving it needed off of to Southland have Drive. its own festival. Yeah. You're right. Hey, Chris, let's talk about the long history. I mean, sure. Southland Drive, uh, you know, was kind of an exciting first suburban place in, in Lexington. Right, that right. started to uh, to spring up in the in the 50s and 60s. Mm, yes, sir. Well, uh, it, it has always been that. It's one of the neatest neighborhoods. When I first moved here, I... Uh, uh, it was just kind of captured by the architecture of it and then very quickly by the music shops that were on Southland Drive. I bought a number of my first instruments there. Um, and so it holds a significant place in my heart. I even was a homeowner and had worked at some businesses along there and uh, really have invested in that community as all of us have. And we're really excited to celebrate like, the diversity and the vibrance of that community. There's so much good art and there's so many good things and community partners and families that we're just... Uh, we're excited about the area and think it's the best place to hold this place like like Toll Sound. I love the way you describe <laughs> it, vibrant. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. it really yeah. is. So when does it happen? When when can people and what do they do? Uh, you can find out more on our website at uh, www.tallsound.com. Mm -hmm. uh, it's this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, a two-day event. Um, your tickets Gates get you in for both days to come and go. Uh, being a family-friendly event, one of the things that we understand is sometimes when you got those little ones, you might need to uh, take them home for a nap or something, but your wristband <laughs> will get you back in, right back in those games. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. <laughs> Sounds like you've thought of everything. <laughs> so, check out the website for pictures from the last couple of years and to get tickets. All See right. those pictures? You'll want to be there. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank Good luck you with all. it. Thank you.